A trip into the forest is usually food for your soul. But what if nature's bounty could make this an edible ecosystem for more than just the birds? A food forest is basically an edible park. So it's a place where you can walk along our snack trail that we're planning to build and you'll see blueberry bushes and apple trees and nut trees. It's not the first time a community has turned public land into a feeding space, but with plans to utilize a large portion of the nearly 14 acres, it's expected to be the biggest in the country. It can be a living classroom where people can come and learn how to grow their own food and go back home and practice sustainable agriculture. The site was an old Christmas tree farm that was given to Bainbridge Island on the condition it would never be developed. And this portion over here is actually part of the overgrown Christmas tree area. So you can see some of the different larger trees. It'll take significant work to get the land ready. Several invasive species have moved in and they want to restore a creek that runs through the property. We plan to leave a lot of it as open space, as natural space that people can just come and enjoy and walk on the trails and, and uh, that remains habitat for wild creatures. They're still in the planning and fundraising stage, but hope to start adding raised beds and some trees to snack on within the next year. You can restore the soil, you can make it healthier, you can protect your watersheds, you can create habitat for all species. And so we hope that the food forest can be a replicable model that other communities can look at and utilize themselves. It will all be free for anyone to enjoy and take home, meaning a walk through the park could now feed both your soul and your stomach. Amy Marino, King 5 News. That is a really cool idea. The new site is being managed by the group's Friends of the Farms and Bainbridge Prepares. They say that having more food growing on the island could help if there's ever a natural disaster.